Let's go to Big Rami. Now, Big Rami, as has been the tradition for the last few Olympias or the ones that he's competed in, you're going to see a series of pictures. Now, we don't know if they're recent. We don't know when they were taken, but he did drop one, or at least uh, Chad Nichols uh, and Dennis James dropped one a couple of days ago, uh, showing him training with Dennis James. Of course, Dennis James has been putting out uh, videos of them training together. It was a picture of striated glutes, a picture of his legs. Uh, which, of course, is going to have people buzzing. When anytime Rami drops anything, it has everyone buzzing because there is that potential. If you've seen the movie Zoolander, you're waiting for him to finally drop Magnum on us. That's what you're <laughs> waiting for. Jose Raymond, in your opinion, given what you've seen, and we just saw him four months ago at the Arnold Classic, five months, it's eight months ago at the Arnold Classic. Uh, he was different between prejudging and the finals, just couldn't put it all together in prejudging. You're starting to see the progress pictures again. Uh, Chad Nichols had some more time to really figure out a formula for success for Rami. Is this finally the year? Is this finally the year that big Rami drops Magnum on us? Uh, I don't think it's going to be Magnum, but I think it's going to be a better version. I think the only mm -hmm. way that Rami shows up in the vision that we all see is if someone lives with him. If he, he's got to live with Dennis James, not for two weeks, but for 20 weeks. And, and, and if he did that, then we would see the, the lights out, crazy Ronnie Coleman style of, of uh, Rami. But I think on his own, left to his own devices, I think he cheats. I think he doesn't get out of bed and do cardio. I think he, you know, he, he doesn't do the things it takes to be a champion. He's, you know, his genetics are unbelievable. He's gotten by this far on genetics. And I don't think he does what it takes to be there. And now that he's with Dennis, I think he'll tighten up and, and he'll, Dennis will keep a good eye on him. But I think, um, I think he needs full time nanny to, uh, to, for him to really be able to do this. So no, I, I, I love Rami. He's one of the greatest people I've ever met. Um, but do I trust him to prepare himself? No. I think he needs someone there for him. Uh, you know, I wish him the best, but I don't think this year is going to be it um, unless he decides to move in with Dennis James for all next year. Then he could win. So, Jose, not overly optimistic on Rami's prospects for this upcoming Olympia. Seth, what say you? Um, I'm in the same boat as Jose. I think that he has uh, – he's going to do great. Uh, from I've never met him. Everybody says he's a terrific guy. Everybody says that uh, the nicest things about him, but at this level of this sport, this is killer. The, the, these people are coming for blood. Like when it comes down to the last, I mean, you're, you're training for Mr. Olympia. Uh, you are 100% balls deep all year long. It's your life. Um, and I think, uh, I think he's going to get better. I think that if he does not step his game up drastically here at this, at this Olympia and have a big showing, I think that it's his light's going to go out a little bit more than it than it has, like it did at the earlier this year. I think it's going to continue to dwindle if he doesn't do some drastic things. Um, simply because, you know, you wait, you wait, you wait, nothing happens. It's going to get it's going to get dim at some point. Everybody's just going to be it's going to become a moot point. Um, and I think that's why Phil coming back is a huge buzz this year. But um, I mean, I'm excited. I, I want to see it. But if it doesn't happen, it's kind of getting to the point where I don't think it'll ever happen. And at that point, again, like Jose said, uh, if he is undisciplined, if he can't put himself through it and, and go as far as you need to go for him to get in shape the way he needs to be, then it, it won't ever happen. It won't. Of course. Uh, but I hope, I mean, that, Big Rami coming in on the special invitation, which, of course, generated its own uh, controversy debates amongst bodybuilding social media. But in your opinion, um, given what you know, obviously, he is now working with Dennis James, Dennis James' watchful eye. Do we see a different Rami? Do we see do we see better than what we saw at this past Arnold Classic, which you were at? You asking me? Yes. Sorry, I didn't hear it. Okay. Well, uh, let's put it this way. Yeah, I know Dennis very, very well and his work ethics. I know his wife, uh, you know, angel on this earth that uh, will prepare all the food. And uh, as uh, uh, Jose said, uh, somebody need to babysit Rami. Well, the, the, he has the best babysitters right now. And uh, uh, Dennis is going to make sure because uh, he also knows this is like uh, fifth year in a row that uh, we're all waiting. It's not going to happen. That is going to happen. 
Uh, and I really think that uh, Ram is going to bring his all-time best. Uh, of course, uh, um, Chad Nichols is not going to allow, uh, again, another miss. Uh, and when we look at this miss in uh, Arnold Classic, at the finals, I mean, there was an argument uh, that he could have possibly taken both William and, and Dexter. Uh, that sheer size that he has is just... Uh, how did uh, uh, Dorian beat everybody? How did... Dorian beat phenomenal physiques of Flex Wheeler, Kevin Lebroni, um, and uh, guys like this. I mean, we all appreciate those guys, but Dorian came with a more size, more width, crazy condition, and he beat them. And uh, a lot of people are going to argue, well, apples and oranges. Uh, me liking uh, Flex physiques and, and Kevin physique, I still don't have a really argument uh, if uh, Dorian won and... Uh, you know, judges said, like, okay, this is the look we want. I would agree. He overpowered them. So can, uh, uh, and then Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler, the same thing. They were just the biggest guys on stage. Uh, there is nobody bigger than Rami. So if Rami brings conditioning, which this year I really hope he, do, he does, uh, he's going to be a contestant. I, I, I see him battling with the Phil Heat for first and second. Uh, you know, myself. At uh, RX Muscle uh, uh, wrap up after one of the Olympias, I talked to Dave and we both said, like, he can lose 20 pounds. Which guy can sacrifice 20 pounds and still be the biggest? You know, so uh, in uh, also this uh, interview I had with Dave and he asked me how I would prepare uh, Rami, I would deplete him into the show. You know, anytime you're depleted, you see all those pictures of a guy's into the show, training day in, day out you know, depleted on very low carbs, and they look strided and full and everything else. So this is probably an uh, area where he needs to, to go and, and just be uh, as dry as can be, strided, size is going to carry him. Dave, you were coaching Rami. Uh, upon what Milos is saying as far as depleting him, and we talk about that 2016 look when he was at Chris Aceto's, the downsized Rami, right? Maybe yeah. his most conditioned look to this point. How would you go about in this last 10 days uh, bringing Big Rami into the show? If the insulin guy says to deplete him <laughs> into the show, you know that Milos would love to carve this guy up to the hilt. Obviously, that doesn't work for Rami. And Milos, being the smart guy he, he is, I have to completely agree with him. When we get these pictures of Rami at two weeks out and he looks really good and you see stride of glutes, why change anything? He's still going to be the biggest guy on stage, right? So I agree with Milos. I think that maybe don't do anything. Maybe deplete him right into the show. Maybe the day of the show, give him a little bit of carbs in the morning just to give him some energy on stage. And that might be enough. I think that, you know, the old fill him up and suck him dry doesn't work with Rami. Uh, you know, if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result, they call that insanity, right?